Barry's girl, that was a good one. I love it, Miss Tammy Mack. But you know, but you know, that is what's so great about it because you are demystifying health. You know, and we're moving past the the pomp and circumstance and the service of actually going back into the community. And I commend you all so much for that. Like they used to say at my daughter's school, you need to turn around and give yourself a big pat on the back because you're fabulous and you're beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Today is also important to me because I am from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yes, woo -hoo. And, and my grandfather who went to Howard University was, yes, thank you, <laughs> Bison. Um, and he, he stayed at Howard until he got out of med school and did his whole cycle and went back to Baton Rouge and became an old country family doctor. How many of us know there are not many family doctors around anymore? People don't even want to do that anymore. Everybody is specializing now, but family doctors were the ones who helped medicine be preventative. Right, so what I recommend now, and family doctors, nurse practitioners, yeah. I love them. Yeah. They have time for us. <laughs> right, they make the time, they can go into all of these centers and everything that you have everywhere. But anyway, I ramble, so y'all just raise a hand and say, oh, get back on the point. <laughs> but anyway, my grandfather, was this old family doctor, so my training is that healing is of service. Yeah. It's a service situation. Uh -huh. Because my grandfather lived right in the community, <clears throat> and his patients, well, you know, even if they got shot or cut, because <laughs> we were right in the community, would climb up on his and say, I got to see Dr. Butler now. <laughs> and he would do it, and sometimes he got paid $10, and sometimes he got paid in uh, skinned possums. <laughs> yes, my grandfather liked possum. Or coconut cakes, or pralines. But the fact of the matter is, he was there helping families to prevent illness. So people would come with high blood pressure and diabetes and all of that, and he'd tell them you can't eat pork and you can't eat fried stuff and you can't eat all the candy and you can't eat all that sweet potato pie and you can't do this, can't do that. So one of them said, oh Lord have mercy, Dr. Butler, I don't know about this because the cure is worse than the condition. <laughs> Lord have mercy, this lady, and she was, well, we just wanted her heart to work. And she said, oh, Lord, if I had known I was going to hang around this long, I would have took better care of myself. <laughs> but you know, and my, and my uncle, my great uncle, his brother had a neighborhood 